Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gary the Bearded Woodworker here again with another unboxing video. So my wife got two new tools. Uh, unboxing video here? Maybe it's over here. I don't remember anymore. Uh, the uh, 60 volt cordless DeWalt trimmer she got. And now we got the DeWalt 20 volt XR brushless pole saw. So uh, this can use your uh, 20 volt batteries that you might use in your drill or your circular saw. Uh, any other kind of tool. It's not the flex volt, so you can actually use more than the specific kind of battery. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. So this one, unlike the hedge trimmer, actually comes with a battery and a battery charger. I have plenty of chargers, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one in a charger that I already have. It is an eight foot pole saw. So <laughs> cute little eight inch blade on it or chain, I guess you could say. Here's where you put the battery. It does also have um, a safety button. Move that latch out of the way, push that one down first and then engage the motor. I'm assuming it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you could do maybe a small pole like this. We got some stuff that's pretty far to reach, so I'm gonna put the extension pole on it. So you'll see here, there's a flat portion and then there's a round portion. So the flat portions go alongside these metal pieces here. Just like that, just like that, repeat it. <laughs> this thing is massive, <laughs> so awesome. As you can see here, it has a reservoir for uh, bar oil. Bar oil is going to keep your chain cool and lubricated. It's just like any other pull, chainsaw, steel, echo, that kind of thing. So let's fill this up with some bar oil. And uh, man, it's just ready to go. Let's give it a go, shall we?
I actually still can't reach the branch that we need to get. Probably have to get a ladder. Happen to have some scaffolding up because I've been working on the house, painting it. It was much easier to work off scaffolding. Let's do something a little uh, lower, huh? But again, my initial thought, the wall has not disappointed. It is pretty heavy. Uh, so me on that scaffolding, really reaching to try to get that last branch up there, uh, took quite a bit of energy, quite a bit of muscle to do. Um, not sure how my wife's gonna fare with it, but I'll give her an opportunity to play with it. I think uh, taking out this middle bar and making it shorter will probably be easier for her. We're also going to use this to get some briars and stuff that are lower to the ground. So definitely using it to, to where we are holding it down to get in there would probably be a lot easier than bringing it up on your head. Um, Came with an Allen wrench here too to adjust your bar and any other fittings, which is cool. And it also comes with a flathead screwdriver on the other side. So uh, that's cool to wall. Good job on that. Uh, but again, I'm pretty happy, pretty excited to see what else we can do in our yard with this new pole saw. And thanks for watching again. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and give that little like, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my video, periodically do some unboxing when I get a new tool and I also build stuff for myself and for clients. So uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.